Here we are in the last section of the chapter, lesson 210, solving inequalities by multiplying or dividing. Now we're going to start out by reviewing what we did in section 26 because it's very, very similar. There's just one small change that we'll talk about in a little bit. We have this problem. We look first, find the variable. Our goal is always the same when we're asked to solve, to get that variable by itself. Find the variable. Here it is. Okay, look at the stuff that's hanging out with it. We've got a 5m. What's that mean? 5 times m. How do we get rid of a times 5? We do the opposite, which is dividing by 5. So we're going to divide by 5 on both sides. So we have that. 5s here, of course, cancel out. Bring down what we have left. We have m equals 40 divided by 5 is 8. Now, to get that into today's section, if I did that, it's the same thing. Okay, Same rules apply. Just divide to get that variable by itself, bring it down, bring down our inequality, and bring down what we get when we divide. Now, a little monkey wrench, but we can handle it. Let's say we have something like this. Negative 3x is less than 12. Okay, find our variable. Hmm. There it is. Okay, what's hanging out with the x? Hmm. A negative 3 times negative 3. How do we get rid of times negative 3? What's the opposite? We need to divide by negative 3. So, divide by negative 3 on both sides bring down what we have left. This is going to cancel out. We're left with just x. Now, we divided by a negative on both sides. So that means we're going to have to flip our inequality symbol. So this comes down as a greater than. Then we divide this. 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. We can t check our answer x is greater than negative 4, so anything greater than negative 4 should work. Let's try 0. 0 is bigger than negative 4. That's an easy number to work with. So if I put in 0 for x right here, negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 is less than 12. Is that true? Sure is. So we've got our answer. Okay. Let's say we have something like this, a division problem. Say we have y divided by 5 is greater than or equal to negative 6. Okay? Again, find our variable. There it is. Okay? There's our y. What's going on with it? It's being divided by 5. How do we get rid of dividing by 5? We need to do the opposite, which is multiply by 5. So, multiply by 5. Both sides of our inequality, same deal. These fives cancel out, bring down what we have left, which is y. Now, do I need to flip my inequality? What do you think? There's a negative there, but no, in this case we don't need to flip because we did not multiply by a negative on both sides. The number we multiplied on both sides is this positive 5. That's positive, thus we don't need to flip, so we bring down our inequality. Greater than or equal to negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. And there we are. Solving inequalities by multiplying or dividing. The same as solving equations, except, remember that one thing, if you multiply or divide by a negative on both sides of your inequality, you need to flip the symbol. Otherwise, same deal. And remember, you can always check your work. Take what you get out, put it back in your original inequality, see if it works. Okay, there's not a real good excuse for missing these because you can always take your answer put it back in and see if it works. Okay, if it doesn't work, then go back and double check what you did. Hopefully this makes good sense. This is the last section in chapter 2. 
we'll be coming up with a chapter review after this so uh, hopefully we're in good shape and uh, we'll do really well on the test.